Back when we humans inhabiting the cosmic egg cracked its shell with powerful bombs, a whole new universe was born in an instant, and what used to be the egg suddenly was a planet in orbit around one of the stars. That magically formed planet is 85% the size of Earth, and has a radius of 5421 kilometers. Its mass is 72% that of Earth, and its density is 117% of Earth density, all of which makes its gravity exactly the same as the one found on Earth. The cosmic egg had been entirely supernatural, so it transmuted itself into natural elements when it formed into a planet. The continent situated on the South Pole is a solid piece of the shell of the destroyed egg, but it's not an impossibly thick eggshell anymore, it's now an enormous piece of white limestone. What once was the egg yolk is now the iron core, and the giant embryo is what provided most of the water present on the planet, and its dehydrated remains turned into various types of limestone. The northern continent is made from the matter that made up the human-inhabited landmasses in the world inside the egg, but most of the humans inhabiting those landmasses ended up quite unlucky, and were buried deep inside the continent together with entire cities and everything else that existed on land. Hundreds of millions of years into the future, tectonic action will bring remnants of that civilization back up to the surface. But there was one piece of inhabited land that was lucky, and ended up wedged between the newly formed mountains instead of getting buried. For the people inhabiting that piece of land, it was quite a surprise. The land inside the egg had been entirely flat, so they saw mountains for the very first time, and brand new rivers rushed in from nearly every direction, causing flooding in many places. Then the sun fell off the sky, which was quite alarming, and then people saw stars for the first time. Inside the egg there had been no sunsets and no stars. The old society tried to keep itself together for a period of time, but the inhabited piece of land just so happened to plop right on top of a giant magical creature which formed the moment the planet formed, and which ended up making the people above infertile. As years went by, the old society found itself literally unable to reproduce itself, and a new society started to form in the southeast, around a woman famed to have the power to make women able to conceive. There were groups of people who left the basin, but the planet was, and still is, newly formed. Most of its land surface is nothing but bedrock so the only group that lasted was the one that went to live in the hills alongside the river that flowed out of the basin. The waters of the river brought the seeds of aquatic plants with it, the newly formed habitat attracted fish, insects and birds, and the birds disseminated the seeds of trees and shrubs across the hills. The ancestors of the people inhabiting this area arrived there before they could be affected by the magical fertility removing effects of the basin itself, and 2000 years later their descendants carry on as hunter-gatherers. As centuries went on, the people inhabiting the basin started to see the neighboring hunter-gatherers as the remnant of the original uncivilized human beings, and started telling stories about how back in the olden days, all humans lived in the hills along the river, catching fish and stealing bird eggs. 